there if you haven't been here before my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup and I like to research the ingredients in cosmetics and report back my findings to you so today we are actually going to be doing our first ingredient deep dive we are going to learn all about alcohol and skincare and makeup we're going to talk about what is defined as an alcohol in cosmetics why it is put into cosmetics and address some of the concerns and myths surrounding alcohol in the beauty industry. But before we get into learning about alcohol in cosmetics, as you guys know, I love helping others learn as well as encouraging continuous education. And that makes me very excited to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where there are thousands and thousands of classes for you, ranging from teaching you a new life skill, how to be more productive, or even things that may be applicable to your career. One class that I really enjoyed on there was how to brew the perfect cup of coffee, because not only was I a barista back in the day, but they go into the science of it, so you know that I nerded out about that. And I also love that Skillshare is affordable. An annual membership is $10 a month for a very wide variety of classes. And I love that this makes it accessible for people to continue educating themselves. And because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video, if you click the link down below in my description box, you will get a two month free trial of Skillshare. And so thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So sometimes you'll actually see skincare or makeup packaging that might say alcohol free on the front, but then you'll see something like cetyl alcohol or benzyl alcohol on the ingredients list. So chemistry speaking, an alcohol is anything with an OH group, but that's not what they are talking about on these ingredients labels. But if a label says alcohol free, that means it is only free of ethyl alcohol or denatured alcohol, which is probably what it says on the label. So ethyl alcohol is like the alcohol that you would find in wine or beer or your martini, but the alcohol that they use when they make cosmetics or skincare is actually 190 proof. To encourage not drinking it, they will add something to denature it. So usually a bittering agent or something that's not really good for you to ingest is, but a lot of times it is a bittering agent. I know that this is used so that way, you know, somebody can't just buy this and make really strong drinks. But also I think I heard there was some sort of like alcohol tax that if you do this you can avoid that alcohol tax. So when they say alcohol this doesn't include things like acetyl alcohol which people will describe as a fatty alcohol and this can actually be hydrating to the skin or something like benzyl alcohol which is actually a preservative. So there are a few reasons that denatured alcohol is put into products. First of all it is antibacterial and that is why you see it as your active ingredient in hand sanitizer. This is also put into a lot of acne products because it is going to help kind of decrease the oil, it is going to help kill the bacteria, and this could also help. Secondly, denatured alcohol can be used as a solvent. So a solvent is something that you basically dissolve something into. So some ingredients will not dissolve into something like water, and therefore it will be dissolved into denatured alcohol, and then that mixture is then added to the formula. That way everything will blend correctly. Thirdly, alcohol can also also help the penetration of ingredients because it can dissolve the oil on your skin. It then allows these little gaps to form in which these active ingredients can help penetrate the skin. And lastly, this helps the product dry faster because alcohol does evaporate very easily at room temperature. So in something like a moisturizer that you use during the day or a foundation, this can be a benefit because you will not be left feeling greasy. So you have probably heard that alcohol is not good for your skin for a variety of reasons. And I'm gonna kind of clear up some of the myths or address the concerns so that way I you can get my opinion on it. So there are a lot of misconceptions and concerns that people have about denatured alcohol in their cosmetics. And the first one is that it is drying to the skin. So a lot of sources will say this and I have even attached some articles in here so that way you guys can see both ends of the spectrum of what people believe about alcohol and cosmetics. And something like an alcohol-based toner is going to have a lot of denatured alcohol. And yes, this can make your skin feel dry, especially if you have dry skin. 
but in a lot of these products, alcohol is a lot lower in concentrations than you would think, and they're usually balanced out with humectants like glycerin or butylene glycol, as well as occlusive agents that allow the water to be retained in your skin. But for me, I don't really let that have an effect on whether or not I'm going to try out a product. At the concentrations these are at, and like we said earlier, alcohol dries very easily, so it probably isn't even going to have enough time to stick around and really dry out the skin when it's within these kind of products. So for me, I won't use something like a toner, but in my foundations and moisturizers, I don't really let it affect whether or not I'm going to try out a product because most of the time it's not even noticeable when I put it on. So the next concern is that denatured alcohol is irritating to the skin which does have some conflicting evidence. For instance, there was one study that was done with 15 people in which they compared washing the hands with a surfactant, which is basically like a liquid soap, like a detergent, alcohol, and water. And this showed that the alcohol was not irritating to the skin. Now, this was a small study. It was only 15 people and it was on the hand. Kind of shows there is not clear cut evidence that alcohol is irritating for everybody. That being said, of course, if you have irritated skin or like severe acne, alcohol is going to feel burning on your skin. If you use a product with alcohol and you feel burning on the skin, you should not use it on the skin because your skin is already irritated. Think of if you have like a paper cut and you put hand sanitizer on. It is going to burn. But for someone who doesn't have a lot of skin irritation, like myself, when I apply it to the skin, it does not feel irritating. Therefore, I feel okay to use it. So the next concern is that it's damaging to the skin barrier through use over time. So for this one, I am going to turn to the CIR, or is it Cosmetic Ingredient Review Board. So this is a group that was established in 1976, created by what is now known as the Personal Care Council, and their sole job is to review the safety of cosmetic ingredients. Now these aren't affiliated with the government, it is a separate entity, and this is their sole duty, and this comprises of of people from a variety of backgrounds. There are toxicologists who are experts in the toxicity of these kind of ingredients, a dermatologist, a consumer representative, all representing different organizations. So this group reviewed the safety of denatured alcohol in cosmetics and they determined that denatured alcohol used in cosmetics is safe for cosmetic use and it does not affect the integrity of the skin barrier. So whereas a lot of these websites say it can, I do trust the CIR in that they believe that it doesn't damage the skin barrier over time. Another concern which I've seen that is interesting is that denatured alcohol is flammable. So a lot of things are flammable. Cyclopentasiloxane, which is in your foundations, is flammable. Isododecane, which can be in your liquid lipsticks, are also foundations, is flammable. So this doesn't really mean a whole lot. Organic solvents like this are flammable. That's the nature of the game. Denatured alcohol in particular can be used as a fuel because when you burn it, it's a very clean burn. When it's done burning, you get carbon dioxide and water. Whereas a lot of other things, if you burn them, have a lot of byproducts of these reactions that are not very good to put into the environment or anything like that, where something like alcohol is a lot more um, friendly. So basically, just don't put your face near an open flame for the short amount of time that it takes for your foundation to dry. And the last concern that I have seen is that alcohol will kill your skin cells. And this stems from a study which within a cell culture, they put alcohol and the ethyl alcohol triggered apoptosis in these cells, which is basically signaling cell death. And this doesn't really show what's happening in a living, breathing human. So that's important in these kind of studies when you see something that says that it kills the skin cells. Remember, this was in a closed environment in a Petri dish. This is not in an open environment where alcohol can, one, evaporate, and also it's a living, breathing organism. 
So in my opinion, alcohol is safe for use and is probably not causing anything harmful to be done for your skin in cosmetics for most people. Like I said, if it makes your skin feel irritated, this, this is a, something that you should avoid. Or if you have really dry skin and the product that you're using has a lot of alcohol, then you may feel it. But for the most part, I would not stray away from products just because these sources say avoid alcohol in products. Now let me know down below what you guys think because of course we can have different opinions this is just my opinion and as always I will leave links to resources down below so you can see where I got my information from leave a like if you like these kind of ingredient deep dyes and let me know what ingredient I should look into next and do not forget to subscribe so that way you will never miss a new upload and with that I will see you in my next video bye